to Narinda called Blimey. And the sun is out, spring is nearly here, or it is here, and we're gonna do a brilliant recipe today, spicy lamb burgers. Mm. I'm hard pushed to find somebody who doesn't like a burger. Um, and we're gonna do the cold blimey twist on it, and we're gonna do a spicy lamb burger. It's so delicious. Don't take my word for it, just make it, and it's so simple. These are the ingredients you need. Okay, chili powder, optional, coriander powder, some salt, garam masala, two to three chilies, finely chopped, three to four cloves of garlic, finely chopped, one small onion, finely chopped, and a handful or a bunch, a small bunch of coriander, fresh coriander chopped and 250 grams to 300 grams of minced lamb. I haven't gone for um, lean minced lamb because normally with a burger, if you do make it at home, I know people are thinking, oh, well, where's the breadcrumbs, where's the egg? I've gone for normal because the fat in the normal lamb, and um, well, not the lean lamb, should bind it all together. Should, I hope I don't have any disasters today. And and the reason, as you know, I normally love just my frozen garlic or frozen ginger, and um, we're doing all fresh because you don't want the water from the frozen ginger to play havoc with the burger when it's frying and, and, and break it all up. And we need the coriander. So actually, this is so simple. So you get your um, minced lamb, and you put in all these ingredients, and let's get in a teaspoon, heaped teaspoon of uh, garam masala, a nice heaped teaspoon of salt, a little bit more than, a um, teaspoon of coriander, and because I feel that the, the chilies was just about two or three, and I want my little bit of chili, I'm gonna put a little bit of chili powder, so I think that gives it a little bit of color, so I'm just gonna do half a teaspoon of that. And then, make sure your hands are washed, we're just gonna give that a good mm, mm, squelch and really wanna get into that. You really gotta get all work, those ingredients, all those spices and onion and the coriander, really work that into the mixture. That's a nice mix, I can smell the, um, oh I can smell the, I can smell the masala, I can smell the garlic, it's just smelling gorgeous. It normally just raw meat, mm. Actually, it always reminds me of the big brother house rule meat, I don't know why. But anyway, so then, you get a nice little piece there, and you want to shape it into your burger shape. It's not hard at all. Give that a good, but you can see the coriander. That smells delicious, honestly. Fresh coriander, nothing beats that smell of fresh coriander. Let's get a little bit more there. More there. We don't want small burgers either. Two small burgers, I should say. That's a nice shape there. Look. How lovely that looks. Right, there you go. Now, pray for me that these do not break. They don't normally ever break. I've never needed breadcrumbs and I've never needed egg. But a tiny tad, little bit of glug of olive oil. You don't need a lot because there's so much fat in the mince anyway. Don't want to put anyone off, but we only have this once in a while. We can worry about weight and health later. And um, plus, lamb mince is full of iron. We're only going to use a tiny bit because initially the fat won't be there. So we just want it, just so that it doesn't stick straight away. So just a little drizzle, see that was tiny. Tiny little drizzle there. Heat us on a medium. Give that a nice swirl around. And then, just get your burgers. Drop them on. It needs washing down a little bit. And that's what we cook it. This probably will take around a good 20 minutes or 30 minutes. I've been turning them around every five minutes and then pressing them down when I've done other stuff. I'm just going to check now with a knife if that middle is done on any of, on this one. That's, see, there's a thickness. If the thickest is, is done, then you kind of know it's all done. Yeah, they're done. Just give them one more squash down. And as you can see, they haven't broken. Yay! They haven't broken. So, this is where we're going to get our burgers. They've been nicely cooking. So I've got some burger buns. You could actually just use naan bread to make it really authentic. Put that in the burger bin. Now this is gonna be really odd. You might think this isn't gonna work. It really works. You can either use feta cheese, crumbled over the top, or my favorite, Stilton. That tanginess of the Stilton 
with the spiciness of the lamb works so well honestly you have to try this burger it's delicious that's enough and you can put a bit of a onion ring I mean I know it's got lots of onion in there already but a burger is an onion ring it's no point otherwise and then you just put that on top and there you have beautiful spicy lamb burger with feta cheese or stilton cheese absolutely stunning i'm not going to take a bite of it because there's no ladylike or classy way of eating a burger so once the camera's off i'm gonna go arr, arr, arr. so anyway i hope you enjoyed this recipe please click subscribe this is an amazing recipe please enjoy it and see you next time